today we're going to do some kind of a, a mini hunt. I don't do a whole lot of these hunt videos because just to be totally honest with you, I don't really think I'm all that great at them. So we're going to do a mini hunt. I want to go into Hot Topic, maybe FYE. Uh, Think Geek is where, where I'm really wanting to go. I really haven't been at the mall since the whole like COVID, all of that, all of that stuff happened. I really haven't been back here. So I don't know if they're going to make me wear a mask. I'm not 100% sure if this stuff's even open, but I'm going to go check it out anyways. And I'm just going to bring y'all along with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. crew. My name is Wayne, and this is Wayne Co. So, like I was saying, I really don't think I'm that great at, at doing hunt videos uh, to begin with. So, I, I hope you enjoyed that that part of the video. Or we're just going to call that an intro. I'll take it as an intro. I did manage to pick up a few pops while we were there that not necessarily I have to have, but I, I said to myself, if I seen them, I would pick them up. Now, this guy right here, James Brown. James Brown is actually from the same city that I am. So when they came out with James Brown, it was a thing that I was, if I seen James Brown somewhere, I was going to pick him up. I really enjoyed the retro style box that they went with here. So they went with this very like retro, like, and you can kind of see it back here. I mean, you can see that it's very, very retro. They say that he's 176 out of the group. Let's get this guy open and take a closer look at him. Now they say he's a rock. If if I was a gambling man or if I was a betting man or, or if I had to look at it in this light, I would say that they're right. James Brown would be a rock pop. I mean, I, he was very like rock orientated, but I also think that he was kind of a little blues. He might have actually just kind of kind of fell into a genre all on his own. Now, don't quote me on that. Don't throw me like nasty grams down in the comments. I'm just giving you my opinion on this. But James Brown is from Augusta, Georgia. I am from just outside of Augusta, Georgia. Let's take a closer look at this guy. So they, they put him in this crazy like stance, but I'm gonna tell you it's really not that crazy. So he used to do this like dance shuffle thing across the dance floor. And if I can find one, I, I'll throw it up here real quick. Just a, a little quick skit of his dance. Now, it was different than what you see on your TikTok and stuff like that today. But it was equally as cool back then as your TikToks and stuff are today. So this is a really cool pop and he's going to go really well in my rock collection. So for the for the most part I only have rappers even though they're they're calling it a rap line in my my rock collection, but now I'm going to add James Brown to it. So it, we're going to put him to the side and then we're going to talk about this guy. So I picked this guy up, but I didn't pick this guy up to add to my collection. Okay, so James Brown come with a stand. I was about to say he's not going to stand very well. I don't like it when they come with these stands. For some reason these stands never seem to like fit in their foot quite right and then they never quite stay there but I see why they did it so okay so they have one foot that's a little higher than the other to really give him that dance flow I'm gonna see if I can find a video though to to put with him in his whole dance like 
thing on stage. I mean, he put on an amazing show, and that's what made James Brown James Brown, is that he put on this really amazing show. And I want to say one of the last things he did for the younger generation is I want to say he either did a Pepsi or a Coke commercial. I can't really remember which one it is. How about y'all throw me a comment down below and let us all know if it's Pepsi or commercial. But he did this whole big thing with them, and they used a lot of his music, and I even think he like it was in a few of them. But even that was probably 10 years ago, so maybe even a, maybe even a touch longer. Now, when I say 10 years ago, I, I forget my age so Sometimes. So maybe even 20 years ago for you younger guys out there. I'm going to get Galacticus here open, but I'm going to explain this one real quick because I don't collect these. It's it's not in my, my collection. I, I didn't pick this one up to collect it. I picked this one up to turn it into a custom pop. Now, I've had an idea to turn this one into a custom pop for my custom pop giveaway. So my 1,000 subscriber giveaway is coming up. It hasn't been announced yet. I will announce it, I promise. I'm just working on a few little last things, and I'm trying to get these custom pops done. That way, I'm not in a struggle or a push to try and get them done. But I have a really awesome idea on what I'm going to do with him. But I'm going to put him back in the box, so I'm not just going to rip the box open and damage him because when I do these customs, I want Want them to go out in their original box with maybe like a change or two on it. I don't really know how I'm going to do that yet. Like the Hello Kitty, I, I did some writing on that box, so I changed it just a touch. But for the people that are collecting this guy, we're going to take a closer look at him. Look, because just because I don't collect something doesn't mean that I, I'm upset that you do or, or it means that I think that you shouldn't. Oh, no, I think you collect what you want to collect, and I collect what I want to collect, and we'll talk about it, and we'll be happy with each other's collection, and that's just how I look at it. You know, positivity is a crazy thing, but I picked him up because I had this idea to make this really cool custom pop with him, and I'm, I'm going to see how it turns out, but before then, let's take a closer look at him. So he is a bobblehead, which is pretty common you know for the the marvel and the the marvel and the star wars stuff i mean they they tend to be bobbleheads and i was told at one point that that was because of the the agreement that they have is that they have to be bobbleheads because you have other companies that have the uh the rights to make the toys right so the paint job on this guy is just okay and and that's how i'm going to put it it's okay they could have did a little better i don't know if you can see the red spillover in here and there's red spillover back here there's red spill over there. I mean, so there's basically just a red splatter spill over everywhere. But, but I'm okay with that. And, and because, like I told y'all, this is going to be a custom pop. I have this really cool idea on what I'm going to do with this guy to really change the way he looks. So he will not look like this when he leaves out. He will, you're just going to have to wait and see. So you're going to have to wait and see what this one turns out like. I'm not going to do a whole lot of spoiler spoilers on this one because there's a few of them that I just kind of, I want them to be a surprise. And then maybe after like I do the giveaway, I'll throw a video out there of how each one was made and something like that. But as you could see today while we were out, that those shelves were really, really, really picked over. I got super annoyed, so I want to apologize for that. I mean, I, I got aggravated. The, the stores were opening late. They were only letting five people in at a time. Look, I understand the whole social distancing. I get it, but if we're going to be social distance, then we probably shouldn't stand outside the store in a single file line waiting on it to open 20 deep. I mean, so I just got a little aggravated out there the day. I just wanted to apologize about that, and I wanted to talk about my new stickers. My new stickers have came in the mail. So if for everybody that knows how to get this sticker, all you have to do is go share this video. Any one of your social media platforms, go to Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I don't care how you do it. Instagram, go to any of them. Share this video right here. Then come back to my Instagram and say, hey, Wayne, I shared the video. Hook me up with a sticker. And if I don't have your address, go ahead and put your address in the message as well. That way I can get it out to you. If I do have your address, well, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't need your address necessarily, but you should probably still put it in there anyways. Because, I mean, all, for all I know, we've, we've already had 100 messages between now and then, and, and it's just going to take me forever to go back and get it. So I have this guy right here, but I also have him in a Chase Variance. Now, if you watched the last video, you'll see that there's two of them. There's there's just the regular green one, this the 89 Joker with my head on it, and the Wanko down at the bottom. And then there is a all, you know what? I'm just going to show you the Chase Variance. So this is the Chase variants. This has quickly become like one of my favorite stickers that I've made. And I don't know how well y'all can see the shine in that, but it, they're saying that it's a retro sticker from the 90s or a retro retro throwback metallic sticker. I don't know about it calling the 90s retro because that, that in the 90s were some of my favorite times 
but that's that they're calling it a retro sticker. I'm really, really happy with this one. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly grab one and throw it as I'm sending them out to y'all. Or I might even randomly just put it in a stack like this. And as I'm pulling them and, and shipping them out to y'all, it will just randomly go in there. So every so often, one of y'all will get a chase variance. And so it's it's just my way of having a little fun while we're doing this. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. crew. Guys, I really appreciate y'all watching, and there is no Wayne Co. crew without you. So I, I truly appreciate it. Until next time, y'all have a good one.